puts the old box on the table there. Let's we'll see if it's a... Uh... Holy cats, it's a big box. Greetings and welcome to another 11D30 video. Today we are unboxing and setting up a Robo R2 3D printer. Those beauty sound effects. We, uh, we decided to go with the Robo R2 because we wanted something that was easy to use for a first time user, uh, such as my brother. And I also wanted something that I could use with some more advanced tools like Octoprint and Simplify 3D as I am more of an advanced user. So yeah, this, uh, this video does tend to get a little long. It is just under an hour. Um, I have taken the liberty of speeding up uh, some segments. Uh, you'll see that, uh, or you have seen that already. Um, if you are thinking about getting an R2 uh, 3D printer, this video uh, is basically for you. Just uh, sit back and watch us struggle to set up the, the printer in some, some cases, and in other cases, uh, just cook right through it. So there you go. Uh, uh, enjoy the video. You have a clipper? Caesars. Caesars or clippers? Uh, no, I got the scissors over here. First cut. First cut. Second cut. Second cut. Release the Robo Kraken. <clears throat> It's like a tooth. Look how far it goes back. A tooth? A tooth. Not a tooth. A tooth. Yay! Instructions! The quick start guide. Do we want to get started quick or get started slow? Is there a slow start guide? I don't see the slow start guide. Do you see the slow start guide, Lord? No slow start guide. Autodesk Fusion 360, free one year Autodesk Fusion 360 commercial subscription. Uh, Step one, cut four zip ties if present, remove four orange protective gantry clips. Really? That's the first thing I want us to do? Let's see this. Snips. Okay. Back snips. Go to the garage. Catch. Catch. Welcome to the Robo Revolution. It's a revolution! It's a revolution! Do you guys have any revolutions at all? Alright, we are on step one. Today we'll be using quality park tool bike snips. Nice. Local company. It's quite the power supply. Let's 
quite the chunky monkey power supply. Look at that thing. Plenty of power there. Oh, Should I cut this? Yeah, just go ahead and cut that off if that's not important. <laughs> Quality park tool snips. That one's gonna be tougher. Uh, can you go? Maybe. Go in A, bro. Can we get this? No, can't move that yet. Ow! Ow! What if you do? Don't kick your foot on that, eh? Hello, Stanley Puppy. I'm a puppy. Hmm. I might go exact a knife edge. Yeah, there's no, no, there's two there. So. Yep. All right. All oh, step one. Complete. Magnetically attract, attach, extruder faceplate. Where's the extruder faceplate? Oh, faceplate. I think it's already on. Nope, it's not. I don't know. There is, yeah, no, this is PLA. I think the faceplate's on there. No, it's not. It's going right here. Oh, that faceplate. Yeah, well. It goes over the hot end. Hey, look! Stickers! Sticker! Stickers. I like stickers. I like stickers more than you. So the faceplate alley yeah, goes over the hot end. What'd you call me? Call you a hot end, mister. Sticker. Sticker. Ooh, two stickers. Pull the stuff tires. One for each of our cars. Okay, that is the faceplate. Faceplate we're looking for. Magnetic. To have that on there for whatever reason. You look like the type of person that might need some tube Please. grease. Tube grease? You got any tube grease? Oh, oh, oh. You know how that stays there? Magnetic. How the heck the magnets work? Okay. Connect power adapter and cable to Robo 2 and then plug into power outlet. Can do. I've never seen one of them power outlets. Mr. Huge Power Brick. I'm a power brick. How are you? Ah, oh, dude. Dude? There's Ethernet in the back of that thing. Ethernet? What does that do? Does that get us all the inner tubes? All right, should I flip the power on? Uh, there you go. Okay, no, use only power adapter and cable provided. Yep. Yep, good that. Step two. Whoa, we went to six. Where's two? <coughs> load filament. Really? We go right to load filament? Loading of said filament. Press to open filament spool holder number one. Is that the top or the bottom one? Is one top? Look in the shunk. Look in the directions. Shunk. Is it personal personal choice? Press to open and fill it, spool holder number one. Are they labeled? There's like no light back here. Does it look like the bottom or the top one? I don't think it matters. 
Oh, it's got to matter. What do they suggest? Looks like the top. It's red. Okay. Well, it's red matter. We'll take that. Official Robo Red. Would you like some silica gel? Yes, I would. Make sure you hang on to that silica gel. Really? Why? Because we're going to get a tub that is hermetically sealed that we'll keep all our filament in. So let's put that. So the big thing with that is you don't want to cross the streams. <laughs> you don't want to. You, like, said, you said funny thing. Go underneath. So. Not going to cross the streams. I'm going to throw some things away. And then up through the left one or the right one. What'd you do? How'd you do it? Okay. So this is a point of contention here. Joel, a 3D printing nerd, got it backwards or got it wrong. So we need to look and see it if it actually documents which hole to put that through. Because if you put it through the wrong one, it's like, hey, there's no filament. Hey, hey, guy, there's no filament. Uh, okay, we did that, we did that. Okay, insert filament, feed tube into extruder filament, feed hole one. So does that look like left to you? That looks like right to me. Take a closer look. Mm -hmm. Uh, the diagram does, does not. Does this printer do more than one color at a time? It, not out of the box. But you can make it? Yep, you can put another. Okay, so there. Yeah, so it looks like it's on the right, doesn't it? Yeah. So. Go right. Going right. Going right. Okay, now, do we want the PFE tube next? What's PFE? Or PTFE, whatever the heck it is. Insert filament feed tube into extruder filament feed hole one. Yeah, not sure. Oh, it's like setting up brakes on a bike. Do you want to save the uh, Ziploc bag too? Yeah, let's save. Step three. Firmly plus filament release button and continue feeding until the printer scares, until you feel firm resistance. This? Yep. So I would take it. That should be, do you feel it? Okay, yep. Good, let go. <laughs> Let's try that. Don't break it. Okay, we got to... Uh... Wait five to ten minutes until... Or wait. No, sorry. I went from here to there. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Select utilities on the touchscreen. So nowhere does it say to turn it on. Perfect. I'm guessing at this point, see it looks like it's on there. So we're going to go ahead and power the unit up. Power it on. We'll Hold finish. on to your butts. So, does it really need a stylus? Is a stylus in it? Are you freaking kidding me? So, as it turns out, after okay. we do the uh, the former update here in a little bit, we do not uh, need the stylus. Um, and the response of the LCD screen gets way better after that. Uh, 
after that former update. So uh, hopefully uh, Robo will just uh, include that update on future machines out of the factory and you won't have you know, to I suffer the uh, frustrations uh, of uh, using a stylus in uh, 2018. I'm surprised it doesn't have you like check for software updates first. Oh, more. Wow. <laughs> Did you touch the thing? All right. Hot end's getting hot. Confirmed. We're gonna extrude. Oh, we're extruding! Yay! How do you know it's extruding? Because I can see it extruding. Oh, it's on the wall, dude. Why is it on the wall? Because that's kind of what it does. We don't want it on the wall. No, do it's the static electricity. That's crazy. Okay, next. Okay, sweet. Okay, so, so now garbage. we want to do the calibration. So utilities. Is this garbage? In? Yeah. Utilities. Is that where I'm at? Utilities, wizards, calibration. Select offset wizard. So, okay, Z offset. Nozzle is clean, go. So this should put on end. Yeah. Thanks. It's, uh -huh. it's finding out where it can go. So that's kind of a weird kind of maybe auto homing noise. And now the bed's gonna come up until it touches. Wait for it. I'm so nervous. Let's hope that it stops. Ooh. Okay. Cooling the extruder. In the bed. In the bed, okay. Interesting. We are moments away from a test print. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, it's like start to begin calibration process. Okay, adjust the... Okay, where's the Z offset tool? Use me to do things. Okay. Uh, on print bread and press up and down. <coughs> okay. okay, so we're gonna do that on the print bed. And we're gonna go up. Actually, let's go two mil. And then let's... It's like graphic design tweezers. Okay, still get it out. I'm gonna go back to one. Oh really? It's just it's it's calibrating it for that amount? Yep. Yep, so what I'm doing is I'm raising that up, coming up here. So I'm just sliding that back and forth. You see, feel any any resistance yet? A little bit. Okay. How about now? Yep. Okay. So what we want is we want no resistance. Little resistance. 
Some light resistance. I think we got light resistance now, right? I feel like we want a little more, just for my... That's too much, okay. Split the difference. So literally okay. a piece of paper for the Z-index. Yep. Got it. So let's save that, we're gonna need that later on. Okay, we're gonna call that... Good. Good. Should put that done. Okay, let's save. All right. Uh, test print. Select files on the touch screen. Do you gotta put this in? Uh, I think it's their internal. It doesn't look like it's illuminated, does it? So, nope. So here. So, maybe Robo could tell you when to put the uh, USB drive in. Maybe we missed it. Poke, 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 poke. There we go. Okay, so there is local storage, so apparently I wasn't hitting it hard enough. So we're gonna go to local storage, and we want to load other screen, then select a file to print from the list. That's a great way to tell that you're at the top there. Uh, Wave base. Select a file to print from the list. Okay, let's do... Do we have like a Marvin, something small? Money clip. Lawn gnome. No. We could do a bench sheet, but that's gonna take a little longer, so. I think a money clip would be quick, wouldn't it? Let's see, test sprint. Let's see what the art does. Give us a 42 minutes, okay? So let's not do that. Um, tube and cap, what is that? 45. Six hours. Tabletop filament holder. What is that? Look at that. That was the 45. Yep. Okay. Uh, that should be. Didn't say. Ah, uh, yes. You would think that a bed level spiral would be fairly quick because there's only one layer. Let's go for it. Should we shut the door? It's just a weird way of... Brute force. Make sure you all the way left. Like, go left all the way. Okay, so bed's coming up. So we are 35 minutes in and doing our first test print. So it's gonna auto home. So that is fairly. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's My Lulzbot Task 6 was fairly similar in time. Nintendo Wii, when you're in uh, the Mii mode, there's a song that goes. You program that on a 3D printer. I'll put a link to that in the description. So I think we still need to come up with our Z-axis. Uh, 
joke right there. It's not that wire was filming. So so far, I don't think we have any of the bent bent Z rod issues. Looks like this can come up like that. So ours did work right out of the box. And we're just uh, 40 minutes. We should take a 3D um, video. Oh, 360? Inside. Yeah. So it just does a test pattern? Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's just going to test the level levelness of the bed. So when this is done, uh, you can pull it off and look at all the lines, and they should be all fairly equal. So in other words, it should be like one size over here and another size over there, another size thick. there. It should all be the same thicker. thickness everywhere. But I still think we need to come up a little bit on our Z height. Maybe we'll do another one. But anyway, I'm going to stop the video for now because we're done. All right, so we did our first sort of test. And I feel like we should bring our Z height up a little bit, but I don't know. It's a different printer than what I'm used to, so we'll just maybe leave it there. How much resistance do you want? Well, we had enough in there, but really what it comes down to is how the print looks. The other thing that I don't like about this is that it's got a removable bed, but the bed is connected, so you have to unconnect it to remove it, which is silly. So it's still a little hot. So what do you So do we do this? So we can do that, or we could this whole thing pops out. Right? But it's still a little hot. So yeah, see how that's really easy to get off? Yeah. I think we're gonna want that a little more resistance because if you're gonna print something really tall, you want a little more, a little more resistance. But I could be wrong. I mean, I'm talking about coming up just like two clicks at 0.5. Yeah. And then maybe we print, maybe we do the Benchy and see how the Benchy does. So here's our. We could make a slinky. Uh, we can make a slinky. That is a thing. I'll put a link to that in the description. So yeah, uh, let's do. <laughs> you want to do a benchy? Well, should we re? Oh, we need to do the firmware. <coughs> firmware. What's Connect that? to Wi-Fi. Let's do that. How do we do that? Oh, great. Uh, select utilities. Shutting the door. Door shut. So I, just, I feel like that should be enough. Like, what am I doing wrong? Is it like a touch screen issue? What? Do I need to go out? Do I need to do that? Well, it's not lit up. There we go. I don't. I feel like that should be network. Bump. No oh, great. Start Wi. Oh, you can turn it into a hotspot. That's nice. Configure Wi-Fi. Configure Wi-Fi. Wi -Fi. Oh. So now successfully connected. Okay. So now update, bro. Let's do update. Update. Look at that. Two point zero point zero dash r two six. Yep. Mm hmm. This may take up to one. Okay, we're recording now. Okay, let's we're see. Back online. Let's see what's on. <clears throat> so again, I just I don't know if. I guess it's just slow. There we go. So let's maybe, see if it's on the USB storage. It's a double tap. Print files and models. What does that do? Filament tube clips, phone stand, 
Looks like it's kind of the same stuff. Morning clip! There's the benching, there's a birdhouse. Birdhouse. Let's go back. Isn't that the same today? Smells like STLs. That's G code. Okay, I see what it's doing. Is G code better or worse? So the G code is basically from the factory that they know it's going to print well on this machine. The still file, like if you wanted to edit it or I want to print a phone stand and a wave vase, you could take these still files, put them into um, Simplify 3D and combine them, print them at the same time. But we need to look at doing one more thing here. Actually, let's go to local. How much local storage? There's eight gigs of local storage. That's kind of cool. So let's do, what was the money clip? How long does that take? Interesting, why is it wanting to... Yeah, we'll do that again. We will do the Z-axis one more time. Hey, it didn't do the grind noise. Yep. Beauty. I don't know if that was a firmware change. He was confused. Z offset tool. Use me for the Z offsetness. It's going much faster now. Where is my tweezers? I don't like these tweezers. They go opposite of what I think. Should be. Okay. So if you look, let's go up, 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 up. We need to go more. We need to go like. I can't see because the plastic is warping my vision. Me, 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 me. Oh, that's that's too much. So let's go. You know, again, this is like a. So I bet after each firmware update or whatever, you need to redo the Z height, You're right. which is fine. I'll go have it do that and just assume everything's cool. So we were gonna do thanks, thanks for that. Let's see if it goes. Oh, it didn't. Nice. No grind. <clears throat> Let's go back and what were we gonna do? Money clip? Is that what we said? Money clip? Money clip. Oh, money, money. Three hours. Da. That's one hell of a money clip. Let's not do the money clip. <laughs> Whatever is 40 minutes. What was the phone stand? Three hours. What's the benchy? an hour so I don't know what do you want to you want to just do a benchy see how it does and wait an sure. hour all right uh, let's go for it ceremonial printing of the benchy it's not gonna it get seems it. to go much faster now because this is here yeah I'm not gonna do the whole thing We are heating up to 230 degrees centigrade. We are downloading the app. The ceremonial first print of the Benji. Let's see if I can get the boogers off the hot end. So I can. I might get a different tweezer. I don't like those. Are we 
would like not to connect with Facebook. <coughs> see, this is why I think we're just not quite where we want to be with NC access. But I guess we'll find out shortly enough. Did we name a printer yet? Nope. Is that a step we missed? Oh, is it doing a raft? What's it doing? It's doing a raft. What? A raft. I'm doing a benchy. I am, but it's making a, a raft for the benchy. Yeah, that's what it's doing. So it's basically laying down plastic to print the actual thing on. I don't really know why they did determine this to be necessary, but we'll just let it go. Yep. Mm -hmm. So now we're trying to connect with the app, and we get an error every time. Well, it's not so much you get an error, it's just you're trying to scan it. And it and does not have permission to use it. There's the picture, and yeah. So what if you quit the app and reopen it? What do you call that? A raft? It is a raft. So it's basically a bunch of plastic to print the actual device or actual thing on. Now, back in the day, you would make it a raft because you didn't have a heated bed and it made it easier to get everything to stick. Like the old MakerBot Mini prints a raft by default because there's no heated bed. So I don't know why Robo feels they need to do a raft with a heated bed. Here, you must set the printer's host name, IP address key before you can set the API key. Okay, so so now my finger works. So I don't. Understand. Good job with the finger. So I don't understand. Beauty. So host name. There's the host name. Oh, that's it. Okay. It's a tech printer. Royal Lee. Okay. Error. Error. That's right there. You must set the printer's API key in step two before scanning for the webcam URL. Okay, that's the API code. Use your phone's camera to scan your printer's. Okay. We're trying. There we go. Okay. Get the profile. Yeah, I don't know. That might be right. It might be okay. I thought I just added a printer. Connect your printer's camera to monitor your prints to the app. We don't have camera, right? Yeah, there should be a camera in there. In here? Mm -hmm. So what do I do? I don't know. <coughs> uh, connect your printer's camera to monitor your prints. Uh, do scan. Okay. Get profile. Okay. See what's going on. We want to monitor our print. Yeah, this is fun. Let's do it again. Yes. So I just want, I don't know what it's. So finally set up? What do you do? Scan and then finally set up? Oh, I see. It's asking, that's weird. That it, isn't there a camera built in? I thought there was a camera built in. So there just it is. skip. It's, it no came in. Oh, it is, yeah. That's the one. So, finalize setup. Get profile. Uh, 
like storage. Oh, what was that going to do? What if we don't want to stock storage? So let's go to dashboard. Oh, gosh. Go. So now can we... Let's tap, tap royally. Why are there so many? Because I had that multiple times because it didn't oh, give me any feedback that it added. So them. we just got to delete two, one of them. Three. Oh, good, good job <clears throat> on your UI. So if you tap that, do we get somewhere? Where's the... Oh, that's cool. You can do stuff. Can we see the camera? I don't know. Here we go. Um, uh, toggle stream. Camera, maybe. Not actually the camera. I thought there was a camera in this thing. I could be wrong. What's a benching, anyways? It's a basically it's what everyone with a 3D printer uses to determine the quality of their printer. A benchmark, if you will, of how the printer is printing. In this particular thing has a lot of challenges in it or some 3D printers have trouble with. Um, like an overhang, some circles, um, small little tower things. And it's just kind of the first thing you do with the 3D printer and you want to see how well it's doing. If you want to be like all the other cool kids. Right. Kind of like a hello world programming something. This is the Hello World equivalent 3D printing. So we don't, I haven't figured out yet how to get the camera feed or if there is even a camera. I don't know if there is a camera. Big money! So now we've just gone to the uh, IP address of the printer and we are waiting. And we are waiting. We're still waiting. Okay, that's interesting. The print, I don't know if that has anything to do with what we're doing here, trying to get into the... There you go. There we go. It's got Octoprint built in. What the shit? That is amazing. Good job, Robo. Holy cats. I marked that as red. Welcome to Octoprint. Dude. That is so smart on their part. I wonder when they made that change. So Octoprint is an open source uh, piece of software that I hope they are contributing to and I will find out. So you can support the author. She's got a Patreon page and other ways to support her. We use the software at work and work. So submitting that is so it's got some custom plugins already there. It's got a history of what, or everything loaded basically. Beauty. Oh my god, that's so cool. And then the web feed. So I'm gonna have to take a peek at this. I like what they're doing here. Can you double click the webcam? Does it go to full screen? On the picture. Um, um, yep. No, okay. We can, but we can add that. So if you go up top and then go to settings, and then on your left hand side, go over to uh, plugin manager in the very bottom there. Still see, we can see what they've already done. That's cool. They got a ton of crap already installed. Kudos, Robo, doing it right. 
So if you go scroll down, you can go to get more. And there are tons and tons. Do search for full screen. Try just get yeah, full screen slash or full screen webcam. So yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to do this while it's uh, running, but you can just install that. All right, that's badass. Work. So it's been about an hour and 36 minutes. Okay, so we're just finishing our benching, and we're going to do some measurements. Yeah, okay, so it looks pretty good, actually. Look at the box, first, second print. So we've got our website loaded up. We're just going to check some of these measurements and see how close we are. Bridge, roof, length. How much do you spend for those one dollars? Not much. That's like a twenty or thirty dollar pair of calipers. Yeah, Amazon man. All right. Came right off. See if the raft comes off. So the PLA wood, is that actually wood or does it just look like wood? So the PLA wood is a kind of combination of like wood glue, sawdust, and PLA plastic. That's kind of what I thought. And it's actually pretty nice. Okay, so look at the bottom. Can you see the 3D? Sort of, sort of, the bottom's not, not great. Can't, well I guess we can sort of make up the nameplate. Focus, 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 focus. Go back to the bottom. Not bad, not bad. See the top, that can use some work. All in all, out of the box, you get a bench that looks like that, pretty good. Let's take some measurements. Measurements coming. So do the chimney, no, do, what are we gonna do? Bridge roof length, should be 23 millimeters. Uh, it's at 22.95. 22 name 20. fave. We'll take that. Do uh, That's chimney. Point, point for, uh, chimney roundness. Outer dimension should be seven. That's, that's, that's pretty close. Is there? Can you do the inner? So if you flip it and stick, make that small. Doing it. Can you then? Yep. That should be three. Two point five eight. Nice. Five nine. Nice, we'll take that. Okay. Um, the overall shape or overall length of the whole thing, bow to stern, should be 60 mil. We're, we're pretty close. 59.4. All right, good. I, I'd say uh, we may want to adjust our Z height to get that bottom logo to come out a little bit better, but, or do it without a raft. What's the bottom logo? That should say 3D something. C, Stevie, so. I blame the raft. Stupid raft. Rafts are the worst. So yeah, all in all, out of the box experience has been great. We'll, uh, we'll do more, but uh, we're gonna wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. Cool, 11 to 30. Go uh, do, yep, do things. Okay, bye. 
So real quick here, I thought I would just roll through the setup of the app with the printer. Uh, the second time through went uh, much smoother with the camera on and kind of knowing what we were doing. So yeah, this is uh, us adding uh, the Robo to our app and getting it to work. So yeah, second time was a charm. And this was during the uh, the printing of the Benchy. That's why it's uh, showing about uh, 10 or 20 percent in. And then once we got the uh, the webcam toggled, it worked uh, just fine. So yeah, there you go. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit it again if you want to be notified. Thanks for your support. Leave a comment do things with the stuff. All right, thanks.